So St Johnston, who were last year's beaten finalists, get this semi-final underway. And uh, Patrick Thistle looking for their first final. And Turner switching the play to Davis. Ingalls, Turner again. And that's an excellent strike by Turner. A fine goal. His sixth of the tournament. Right across the goalkeeper. This is Turner for St Johnston. To Liam Dunn. And the ball spins across the line. 2-0 to St Johnston. So McGowan's first goal. So if this all start the second half. With a lot to do. This is McLaughlin to Shaw. Irons. An excellent goal by Paul McLaughlin. His first of the tournament. A fine strike with his left foot right across the goalkeeper. So a thistle right back in it. But then tees it up for McVicker. Britain again. McVicker. Still Thistle keep on the pressure. Played to McLaughlin. And he's done it again. His second goal of the match. It's two goals apiece. Well, some power shooting from Paul McLaughlin going in off the keeper well what a game he's having he's won it again now it's Britain just under four minutes left and again he powers in the shot and Jerry Britton finishes it off this will take the lead and the fans celebrate Britain's third goal of the tournament. Well, again, it was a McLaughlin shot, and Britain was in there to finish it. This is Dees to Turner. Play through to Mascri. Dees again to Turner. This is Wright who's come on. With just under two minutes left. What a magnificent goal! by Tommy Turner his second of the match his seventh overall and it's three goals apiece a great strike Bicker again we're inside the final minute this is Britain for Thistle Irons This is Britain. Well, he's so close. Still Britain, and he's done it. So his second goal of the game. And his fourth overall. Well, it was a bit of a scramble. And of course, he couldn't stand inside that shaded area. And he kept his cool. So if this old 4-3 ahead. Johnson fighting back, but there's just over 10 seconds left. This is Dees. The final countdown on. The chance run for Turner. A great save by Murdoch. And it's all over. Delight from Jerry Collins and the Thistle fans. Patrick Thistle go into the final. Well, congratulations, Jerry, through to the final. There was some fight back in the second half.
It was. We took a while to get going, but uh, once we started knocking the ball about, uh, we brought them down well and ended up coming away with a victory. You fancy your chances in the final? Well, it's the first final that this has been in since the 71 League Cup final. You know, so uh, the fans have waited a long time for a final. Enjoy it anyway, thanks very much. <laughs> He's looking forward to it, then, Gordon. Two great semis. Yeah, I think John Lambie will be able to spend some money now and buy a couple of players. But the first semi final Celtic in here was absolutely fantastic. Not just for the football and what we've talked about all the time the quality of the strike and the goalkeeper, just the reaction of the fans is absolutely tremendous. They're having an absolute ball. It's terrific fun for all these families that are here. And Airdrie, you've tipped them. Yeah, well, they're looking good. I've, as I've said earlier, got them in the sweep, and Oni Coyle, now a big favourite of mine. You know, he's banging in goals left, right, and centre. So it looks like a terrific final in prospect. Indeed, it does. So it's Airdrie versus Partick Thistle. As Gordon says, a terrific final in prospect. And we'll be back with the action in a couple of minutes from now.